A Friend in Need Written by Carol Jones Illustrated by Judy Spittle Chapter 1 The Message Sophie was sitting up in bed, reading a detective story, when a paper plane whizzed into the room. Where did that come from? Sophie asked her dog, Watson. Sophie looked at the plane lying on the blanket. The paper was crisp and white. Each crease was as sharp as a knife. The plane was long and sleek, and the wings were bent at the tips. Where did it come from? Sophie unfolded the plane. There was a message under the wings. It was written in tiny capital letters. Sophie needed her magnifying glass to read it. This looks like a job for Detective Sophie, she told Watson. Using the magnifying glass, Sophie read. To whom it may concern you are the only person in the whole wide world who can help me. From a friend in need. Somebody was in trouble. Somebody needed her help. Sophie had not played detective since she and her mother had moved. Sophie had no one to play detective with and no one to share secrets with. But now, somebody needed her. Maybe they'd been kidnapped by aliens. That had happened on a TV show. She would get to the bottom of this. It was just the kind of mystery detective Sophie liked to solve. Maybe she would even make a new friend. Chapter 2 The Plan The next morning, Sophie worked out a plan. First, she would find out where the paper plane had come from. She leaned out her window. All that she could see was the house next door. She could see a window, but she couldn't see inside because the curtains were shut tight. That could be where the plane came from, thought Sophie. She was a step closer to solving the mystery. Sophie decided to keep watch from her window. She had her binoculars and her detective hat. She also had Watson. He wasn't much help, but at least he kept her feet warm. Sophie didn't know exactly what to look for. What does an alien look like? Sophie asked Watson. Watson yawned. Then Sophie heard a door slam. Sophie looked through the binoculars. She saw a man leaving the house next door. He didn't look like an alien. But Sophie knew it could be a disguise. The man climbed into his car and drove away. Sophie jumped up. It was time to act. Sophie climbed out her bedroom window. She crept toward the window next door. At any moment, a strong hand might grab her. Alien rays might freeze her in her tracks. Maybe if she held her breath, the aliens wouldn't hear her. Finally, Sophie reached the window. She tapped quietly on the glass. The curtain opened slightly and a warm breath fogged up the window. Then a pale hand reached between the curtains and wrote something on the glass. What could it be? Was it a secret code? Was it an alien alphabet? She pulled out her notepad. Then she heard the sound of footsteps. The pale hand stopped writing and disappeared. Sophie